Today I'm going to show you how to buy a domain for your business. I'll walk you through three different options and you'll see why we recommend buying domains from Namecheap. Hi, I'm Jeff and welcome to the Figco. If you're looking to grow your business online, I'd encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. So one of the very first steps of getting your business or personal brand online is buying a web domain. I know that there's a ton of different websites where you can buy domains and each of them is going to try to upsell you. So I want to show you what you need and don't need and where we recommend buying domains. Before we look at the different options for where to buy a domain, I want to show you a quick tool that you can use to find out if the domain is available as well as the related social media accounts. Okay, so here's Namecheck um, or namechk.com. I like using this because it's very visual and you can find out if the domain is available as well as the different social media accounts. If this is for your personal brand or a business you've owned for a while, chances are you already have the social media accounts um, and you want to check on the domains. But if you're starting a new business and trying to decide what name to use, this is a good tool to see if the domains and the, the related usernames are available. Um, so if we look for my name, Jeff Thalen, you can see here the .com and the .co, which I own already taken, as well as a lot of the, the related uh, social media accounts. Um, let's say someone else named Jeff Thalen wanted to buy a domain and wanted the .com, he'd have to check out a couple of other different options. Um, one of the things I don't like with this option of name check, there's a dozen different websites like this, um, is you have to refresh the page to put in a new username. Um, but I like how it lays everything out visually, but all of them pretty much work the same. Again, the, the link down below if you, wanna, if you wanna see this or any other stuff we talk about in this video. Um, one of the other ones that is available, if I say wanted to use my initials, JJ Thalen, and see if that was available, all of the domains basically are, are free for that, um, and I could get a Facebook and YouTube account. So this is an amazing tool for figuring out if a domain and the related social media accounts are available. So now I wanna walk you through three different options of where you could buy your domain online, GoDaddy, Squarespace, and Namecheap. So let's go check them out. So let's check out the first option, GoDaddy. It's probably the most well-known. Maybe you've seen their Super Bowl ads or you've seen Danica Patrick and NASCAR. Um, they spend the most money on marketing, but maybe not the best option. So let's check out their page. So again, we found JJ Thalen was the website we wanted to check. You can see the .com is available. They'll sell it to you for $2.99 um, for the first year with the two-year registration. Um, and it has $17.99 crossed out. Uh, let's add that to the cart. Then continue to cart. Okay, and so here begin the upsells. So they're asking about privacy protection, which can be something important. For example, if you're starting your personal brand and you want, don't want to give out your address, phone number, or email, um, you do want privacy protection. If this is a business that already has a known address, email, phone number um, that's out in the public domain, maybe this isn't important to you, but it is an extra $9.99 per year. Um, I'm gonna say no thanks to this for right now. Um, they're asking if you want an email. We have a video about getting your email set up that I'll link to up above. Continue with these options. Okay, so you can see, let's see, the .com registration, 2098, um, 299 and 1799 for a total of 2134 for two years. If we add the domain privacy, you're gonna add another 1998 and so you're gonna spend $41 for two years. Um, the thing is, so they give you a, a very low price, but you know, kind of hide the fact that it's for buying the two-year plan. Um, if you just want one year, they're gonna charge you $11.99. Um, so for one year with domain privacy is $22.16. Um, and then a loan is you know, $12.17. So that's the first option. You can see that um, there's a couple of different upsells for privacy, email, a whole bunch of other things. Um, now I want to show you another option 
Here at the FIGCO, we own and manage a handful of different websites which are all built on Squarespace. Also, we build web pages for our clients and the majority of those are also built on Squarespace. We like it so much and want to help you um, get your business off the ground as we create a free course for how to build a web page in Squarespace. And if you want to check that out, uh, link to it up above. Um, but basically they have beautiful mobile friendly templates and you need zero design knowledge or programming knowledge to get a website up fairly quickly and easily. All right, so with Squarespace, let's check out the pricing page because there's one thing I want to show you related to um, domains. So if you're buying an annual plan for Squarespace, they'll actually give you free custom domain with annual purchase. Um, so you can get the first year free if you're buying an annual plan with Squarespace. Um, if we go to their domains tab, so let's check out the same domain on Squarespace. JJ Thalen, it's available and $20 a year. Um, the thing with Squarespace is this does include the privacy protection, so that's already included in the $20 price. Um, so if you do want privacy protection, it is less expensive to buy the domain and privacy protection on Squarespace than it is on GoDaddy. So now I want to show you the third option, which is Namecheap. Um, and I'm going to show you why we think Namecheap is better than the two other options we showed you previously. Um, and the first thing would be the pricing. You can see down below, so a .com website is 888. Normally the first year I think starts at a little bit higher than that, but renews at 1298. Um, and this also includes the privacy protection. So something that GoDaddy's charging you $10 a year for, or the domain is $20 a year with privacy protection on Squarespace, you're getting for less uh, Namecheap. And they also have great customer service. So you can see again, .com available, add to cart. And again, they're gonna try to sell, upsell you on different things. You don't really need any of this. Let's check out the cart. And so you can see 888 for the first year. If we go to two years now, you'll see the total is 2212. So if you don't want privacy protection on GoDaddy, maybe it's a dollar less. But if you do want the privacy protection, it's heat free here. And also the renewals are cheaper than what you saw on GoDaddy, which I think were around $18 for all of the years beyond the first one. And so that's basically why we recommend buying your domain with Namecheap. All right, so hopefully with that, you're able to complete the very first step of getting your business online and purchase a domain. The next two steps that we recommend would be obviously getting your website up. Um, we recommend Squarespace. If you wanna check out that free course that I mentioned earlier, I'll link down to it in the description below. Also, the next step would be setting up a business email. We recommend using G Suite from Google. I'll link to the video that we did on that, walking through step-by-step -step how to get your email set up. Well, that's it for this video. We'd love to follow along with your progress and learn more about your business. Why don't you leave down below in the comment section a link to the web domain you just purchased. That way we can follow along with your progress. Also, if there's any other videos you'd like us to create to help you grow your business online, also leave that down below as well. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, you can do that up above here. That way you're notified every time we put up a new video. If you wanna learn how to set up your business email that I mentioned before, I'll link to that video up above here. And if you wanna build your webpage in Squarespace and take our free course, here's a link to that over here. Until next time, bye bye.